supposed to do? I could kick my legs. Wow, what an awesome feel? story. Did you hear the talking at the beginning? Did you hear the dialogue? Yes. Okay. Rub your belly if you knew who was talking in her story. <laughs> Molly, who was talking in Aaliyah's story? Me and? <gasps> me and Aaliyah and I. You're right. So I wanted to go to the park. And I said, let's go to the park. She remembered how to spell let's with the apostrophe just like we did in our message. That's awesome. And guess what else she did? She used those talking marks. She used these quotation marks in her story when I was speaking and when she was speaking. And I like how she didn't just end it with um, her saying, okay, we will go to the park. She added more to her story and told you all what she did at the park. Right? We knew that she was on the swing. She could have been on the slide. She could have been doing all kinds of things. But she told you exactly what she was doing. All right, Aaliyah, pick a friend to tell you something nice about your writing. Two. I like that you use her words. How she wrote her words? Okay. Uh, Megan. I like the story. What do you like about it, Megan? She uses faces. Okay. Raven. What do you like about her story? It was neat. Her story was neat. Okay, I like mostly how she used dialogue. Okay, well maybe you can write about that, Kaden. What year would you like? The lion cheer. The lion cheer. We don't have any lions. I don't think we do. I know how it goes. All right, teach them. Ryan, you did a good job. All right, let's do it. Ryan, you did a good job. All right, Aaliyah, nice work. You can keep adding to that story even tomorrow, right? All right, thank you. Our king today is going to be Mr. Dakota. Now remember, it's okay. Tomorrow's another day, and there's another king and queen coming tomorrow. All right, Dakota worked with me today. Aaliyah wrote on her own. But Dakota worked with me today. He came up with his story all on his own, Colin. Would you like to read your story? All right, nice and loud. Let's give Dakota your listening ears. My sister... My sister... Said... Said... It is her birthday. It is my birthday. She's talking, right? So she can say it is my birthday. Then I said happy birthday to you. Sister. He has an exclamation point. So he said happy birthday to you, sister. So I like how Dakota remembered that we talked about dialogue today. And let's show him your picture. Is this you and your sister? And her cake and her candles? Or these balloons? These are balloons. Uh, okay. So two people were talking back and forth in Dakota's story as well. Put your hands on your ears if you knew who was talking in his story. Truman, who was talking? Dakota and his sister, right? He told her happy birthday. So Dakota, I like how you used then and told us what came next. And I like how you used dialogue and quotation marks. And we can maybe work on spaces tomorrow, right? Okay. Pick a quiet friend to tell you something nice about your writing. Ooh, challenge. He's going to work on spaces, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> His picture's very nice. Um, Diamond, I like your picture. Okay, something about his writing this time. Um, Kaden. Uh, 
I like how she was so nice to his sister and told her. <laughs> All right, what year would you like? Um, well, I do. Oh, we have a new one. <laughs>